it's nice and hot. As fire normally is. It feels good though. It feels really nice. Warming me. Warming my bones. Get this water on, have some breakfast, have some tea. Bam, son. I'm gonna head out, go explore fish some. I got all the necessities. My GoPro, my gloves, my bear spray, my rain gear, my life jacket. I am going to move these logs inside more just in case it does rain while I'm gone. These are my big fuel pieces. I'm going to gather some kindling and stuff and put it in here before I go as well just to be prepared. My birch bark's already on the inside. I will, um, if it does end up raining, I will scooch my fire pit in about another foot and uh, I'm gonna build a chair uh, right in front of it but I can't pass up the opportunity with this such calm water to go to not go paddle so that's what's happening after catching that big pike yesterday I kind of realized what I was doing wrong the first couple days I was just overzealous I wasn't letting the fish tire itself out I was just so happy that I finally had a fish on I was just reeling her in to try to get in the boat and I know better I just was was very anxious to get food to get it in the boat um, with that big guy I let him run I let him tear himself out and then when it was time to get him in the boat it's much easier so that's why I'm sure I lost most of those well I think I lost four or five pike total but it's okay like I, I would have had I got my food anyways, you know what I mean? I learned my lesson. I relearned that lesson. <laughs> Old Joe's good at relearning lessons. But, yeah. Anyways, it's all good. Just, uh, that's probably why I lost them. Old Gung-Ho Joe. Gung-Ho Joe. The waves are kicking up. The wind's kicking up. It's completely the exact opposite way it was coming from yesterday. Like I said earlier too, I was I was second guessing my decision on location. You know what I mean on way, the way I, I oriented my camp. But the fact of the matter is, the wind was coming from this way hard. Now it's coming from this way. I'm camped on this side of an island, so it's like I'm kind of getting cross breezes from both, both but I'm not getting it. Uh, full on, you know what I mean? Because if I camped on this side of an island, I'd get a full on, and then today I'd get a full on from this side. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. I'm getting, I am getting hammered where I am with wind uh, when it kicks up, but there would be worse places to be, I'm sure. The next best option is just hide out in the middle of the bush, and I can do that. It's just I was anticipating bugs, and uh, that's why I wanted to be on a rocky outcrop for, for a breeze. This is day five, and I've only ever, I've only seen a couple mosquitoes. I see I saw a few black flies the first couple days, but they were just crawling around. They weren't doing anything, not active at all. But yeah, we shall see what, uh, what time brings. This is by far the farthest down the lake that I've paddled. I'm nowhere near my island. I thought I'd come down here in search of walleye. I've only been getting pike. So, let's see if I can catch a couple of walleye. I would be ecstatic about that. Not holding my breath though. <laughs> Realistic Joe. It feels different. It feels different. It's either a small pike or a walleye. Oh, feels different, guys. Yeah, it's not fighting half as hard. It's a pike.
cool. That's today's food sorted. Not as big as yesterday, but definitely an eater and enough food for me to eat today. Very cool. I'm going to keep paddling the same way I was going. I'll keep trolling, and if I catch another fish, I'll throw it back. Unless it's a walleye, then I'll keep her. The sun's coming out a bit. That's a blessing. Might turn out to be a beauty day. Well, I've come down far, far to the end of the lake. I think I'm going to turn around now. I want to do a few camp chores. I want to build some furniture, like a chair and a bench. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was a success yeah, a successful morning. I got to realize that it doesn't matter where I set up. I set up in the best um, direction facing, facing the best direction that I could have. So I feel better about that. I can't really improve upon my location. So I want to improve my camp. That's what today will be about, just building a few things. sky. A little bit of sunlight that was peeking through is gone. There's more clouds blowing in. It's getting dark out. I'm about halfway back. It's hard going. I need water. There's my put in. Here's my camp. Woo! I'm happy to be back. For the past three days I've been using this small brass Williams Wobbler. Not small but not very big. Williams Wobbler. I'm working great. Great on the pike at least. Maybe I should try jigging for some walleye, but uh, we'll see about that tomorrow. Oh my camp! Hello the camp! Hello the camp! I've been leaving my bear spray out of the um, holster. Just set up on a on a stick there so I can see the red from far away and so if I come up to camp I can grab that as I'm walking up to my shelter in case there's any bear around but yeah it's not a it's not a concern. Oh, oh. My old bones need some stretching. myself up a chair. I got four logs. I've already notched this one. My idea is to put them together like this. So I want them both notched at roughly the same uh, spot and the same angle so that they'll fit together better. Good. Like that. Using the Canadian jam knot for something other than tying up a shelter. <laughs> So you can see what I'm doing here, I think. I'll show you my next step, but basically, got a bipod, I got a second bipod. This second bipod is gonna go 
It's tied the same way, it's constructed the same way. It's gonna go on the inside of the other one. I'm gonna put a stopper log here, I'm gonna tie it in. And then I'll put another one on the top, kind of hold it together, and then I go uh, boom, 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 boom with logs and that'll be my seat, that'll be my back. It should be pretty good. I gotta tie it all in together though. So this is the bottom one, I want the top one there. So sometimes you can notch this, but I don't really think it's necessary. Canadian jam it all on and then do another couple wraps. So this Canadian jam is gonna hold three pieces of wood together right here. Sometimes you can grab a uh, a little stick, wrap it around a few times so you can get a little bit extra, like a toggle, you can get a little bit extra torque on it. Okay, she's on there really good, but I will wrap it. tie it off okay one side done bam son got to get rocks to stop it from sliding because it's sitting right on a rock too. I end up putting a rock back there, put a rock there, and I'll put a rock in front of that um, foot and see, see how that goes. Now I should be able to lean back because before when I leaned back in it, it slid out. Damn it. Okay, a heavier rock behind. It's still sliding. I just need a heavier rock behind. Yep. She's going slowly. Okay, no problem. We'll go grab one. Oh, yeah. Who's a peasant now? Not I. That's not so bad, guys. <laughs> Improving your situation, eh? All right, that was a good use of time. This is a super comfortable chair. It wasn't that hard. Just used a little bit of paracord and an axe. And I guess my saw to cut these. I'm glad I brought a saw and an axe. It's useful. Oh. I gotta get some water on. My head's pounding. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And then if it does rain, I'll move this chair in. It's it's definitely uh, portable. I'll move it in. I'll tuck it over into the corner a bit, and then pull the fire uh, pit right in. I got a huge rock for the back leg of this. It took a lot out of me carrying it up here.
Okay. So considering it's day five, considering it's day five, and I already got the chocolate and the s'more stuff out of my birthday present, let me give you a little backstory. Originally, I was supposed to come five days later than I did, but things got changed around, and I changed my flight, and I hopped on a flight and booked it up here as, soon, as quick as I could. So, originally, I would have only had four nights out here before my birthday, and then six nights after, five nights after, the remainder for ten days after my birthday. So, I would have been here about half the time and then my birthday, and then spend the rest, another half, uh, remainder of the time here. Because my flight got changed, I came earlier, it made my birthday the last night that I'm here. So it, it changed everything. So when my wife and my daughter were packing that up for me, they weren't making this for the last night, they were making it for like the middle. So they put, unbeknownst to me, they put the, the s'more stuff in it, and... I would have had half the week or half the time, five days at least, to to eat that stuff because there's three, or there was enough for three s'mores. That said, I'm assuming the rest of what's in this box is, there's the rain, is meant for me to look at or have or keep or do whatever with for more than just one night, the last night, you know what I mean? So I'm going to open it today, an early birthday present today for me. You know what? It's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. So, happy birthday. Thank you, sweetheart. No, Look at the bottom. <laughs> she loves her hearts. Pictures. We have two pictures of M and Will. I thought they might have sprayed perfume on it. My lovely family. Oh, she made me an envelope. Emerald made me an envelope. Dirty hands on it. From Emmy to Dad. With an upside down heart. Aww. Dear Daddy. Oh! There she is. Dear Daddy, I hope you have a good birthday. We love you, Daddy, with our full hearts, near and far. I love Dad. Oh, <laughs> she's so precious. Oh. Thank you, Emmy. I appreciate it. I love it. I don't want to ruin this. Another one from Emmy. From Emmy to Dad. <laughs> Dad heart. She made me out of a heart. That is awesome. I think it's me. That's too cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move back here. I'm right in the cusp. It's rainy. It's raining. Oh, this one's from my my lovely wife. I'm not gonna read this one to you. I wanna read this one to myself. I'm going to um, move everything back, get out of the rain. Thank you, family. 
it's much appreciated. I really am excited to read the one for my wife. I'm excited to, I'm happy to see the one for my kid. It makes me feel good. Thank you very much for the note, honey. It made me cry. You said a lot of the things that I needed to hear. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I love you very much. I'm going to sit here in the rain and think. I got these little birds, <clears throat> these little brown birds. They're like the color of a chipmunk, and they like to run around instead of fly. And they, I keep thinking they're chipmunks. Well, not anymore. I, I, I originally thought they were chipmunks, but little birds, little birdies, my only animal companions, birds. <laughs> I haven't been doing much. I, I laid down for a while in my sleeping bag. It got real cold and windy. It stopped raining. Only rained for a touch. Nothing bad at all. But it got real cold and windy. Um, I laid in bed. I think I passed out slash like dreamt. I don't know if I was actually asleep, but I was just thinking, dreaming weird things. It's hard to dream, I guess, if you're not asleep, but it was this weird like in between thing. Um, I wasn't fully out. I woke up, read some more of my book, which I really like, by the way, actually. It's called Alone on the Shield by Kirk Landers. Yeah, Kirk Landers. It's about a guy in Quetico uh, meeting someone that he knew like 60 years or 40 years ago or something like that on an island in Quetico. Quetico is in another park near Woodland Caribou. I'm near Wo Woodland Caribou now, but up here it's like uh, Wabakimi, Quetico, and Woodland Caribou. But yeah, it's a good book. I'm really enjoying it. It's like a really good type of book for me to be reading out here. <clears throat> but yeah, and then, uh, and then I got cold. My feet started to get really cold in the uh, in the sleeping bag, so I got up and hiked behind my my shelter quite a bit in the thick woods and peed back there. <laughs> Came back. I'll take you back in there maybe tomorrow. It's uh, it's wild back there. Like I've taken you back in there a little bit for me to get um, spruce for the shelter, but like it is thick and tons of blowdown. Just moss is like deep as my knees. It's it's absolutely insane back there. Like. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if no humans ever stepped foot on this island before. You know what I mean? There's so many on this lake. Like, why would they? I'm, I'm not saying it's not possible. It, it very much is possible, but it wouldn't surprise me. There's no sign. Um, not recently, anyways. No sign of bear, either. No sign of anything, really. Oh, red squirrel. I saw a red squirrel uh, mitten. The, the uh, pine cone shells. The pine cone shells, but other than that, nothing. 
but it's pretty nice now. It's it's the sun's come out. Wind's still there, but it's always been there. It's it's not strong right now. I uh I gotta get up and do something. I've been laying around too much. It's two o'clock, ten after two. I didn't do much for lunch today. It was just jerky. I got that whole pike still for uh, for supper. Oh, I had uh, my hot chocolate. I had one, my first hot chocolate while I was reading my book. It was good. It was really good. Okay, let's go do something. ground is littered with grouse poop. Look at my footprints in the moss. That's insane. See a clearing over there. Let's see if we can make our way over there. not a bad spot for a picnic. Doesn't seem to be too windy here. There's no access to the water and there's no way I can hike back and forth with all my gear to, or could have done that to set up here. Um, and I wouldn't want to. But a good spot for a picnic nonetheless. Oh, check this out. Is it just another type of lichen, or is that that the red? Yeah, with the red dots on it. Maybe it's just another type of lichen or moss. Pretty cool though. So you got like reindeer moss or lichen, I think here. I don't know what type that is. Is that another type right underneath? That's a moss for sure. That one. I think this is reindeer lichen. Huh. There's lots and lots and lots of lichens and mosses. Lots of different species. Well, this is pretty cool. There is a little spot down to the water. Not a clearing. We've got to go through the brush and then it's a drop off, but still, there's a spot down to the water. It looks pretty calm right now. So I think I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm going to go canoe, cast a line in, see what I can see. Just spend a, spend a little time on the water. I'm in this little cove out of the wind and I see a pretty nice dead standing tree, good solid size. So I'm going to cut that baby down, bring it back for firewood. I'm nowhere near my island.
Ah. That was too much. My heart's pounding on my chest. Okay, this should be interesting. Oh, careful! Delicate, delicate areas. All right. She's a little heavier. A little heavier than before. Can't really paddle properly either. Oh, this is gonna be messed up in the wind. Ah! <laughs> what am I doing? I needed firewood. I need substantial firewood, right? Like I keep burning twigs and like the rotten pine and stuff. It works fine. It's just when I need warmth, that won't do. Like that's just for cooking and for ambient smoke and fire. But like if I need a hot fire to warm up or something, stuff is key. We got armrests at least. I was crossing my eyes as well, you couldn't tell because I had glass. My island is straight ahead. That's my put in, my take out launch spot, my camp spot. I can even see my food bag hanging in a tree. I'm absolutely beat. I need food and water. Well, that took a while. I warmed right up. I think that was the first time I took off my tube today. Now I gotta cook supper sure but this wood will last me a few days it's a lot of wood I do have to split some down still that's handy what look at the grain of this not wet. It doesn't smell rotten or punky. Do you see this? That's not normal. That's not fat wood or anything. It's very like fibrous. Solid. That's not was a that's not what I was expecting. Alright, 
That's good. That wood burns hot. Burns with a dark orange flame. Probably a lot of resin in it. It's very good wood. I'm happy I got that tree. I'm gonna go gut. I'm gonna go down and get my food. I can barely move. I need food really bad. I'm gonna go get my fish and cook it up. I'm losing my mind. It's been too long since I ate actual food. Today was just I just picked at some jerky. I'm trying to conserve. Again, I'm not gonna eat rice tonight. I'm gonna conserve it. I have a whole pike. Every other night I've just had half a pike. I have a whole pike, so yeah, just fish tonight. Maybe a little tiny pinch of veggies, a little splash, a little salt bay of veggies in there. Veggie bay. Meme review. Man, this knife is getting dull. There's the back strap. Getting better at filleting them with the this knife. It's still not as efficient, but it works. I don't even try and take out the bones anymore. I just pick them out when I eat. Does not matter. I got time for picking bones, you know. I got time. Time is on my side. Time is all I have. It's a race against time. Father time. Time to boogie. What? I'll cook that much up for now. It's quite quite the menage of fillets in there. Lots of fish. Still got oh, only one in there. And I'll save it. Might as well save it. Now we wait. You know what I just thought of? A beer. A nice, cold, good beer. That would be amazing with this dinner. Last beer I had was the night I got into Red Lake. The day before I started this trip. After my flight, after traveling all day, I had two of them. We went out for dinner. Me and Harlan and his girlfriend and a couple of his employees but before that I hadn't drank a beer in a long time like a month not even one I'm super hungry let's try and dig into this see if it's ready a little scramble though look at the fish boy look at the nutrients mmm <laughs> I can't do it. He's much better at it than I am. All right, bon appetit, first bite. Tish familiar. It's not bad. I'm just getting, uh, just getting a little tired of eating pike, I think. But, better than just rice, better than rice, veggies all right I'm gonna eat this up I won't make you watch me eat my whole meal hopefully I can go paddle tonight I want to I want to go watch the sunset if there is one there's tons of clouds so who knows but that's my uh, that's my wish for tonight That was hot. Oh, okay. That was hot. Sorry about that. Well, that was quite filling. What I've been doing to clean my dishes after I eat, come down to the lake, grab a big thing of moss or lichen, put it completely in, just scrub it right out like an SOS pad or a Brillo pad, I guess. Trying to get all the scent out, trying to get all the remains out because 
again, this is my only pot, right? So I'm using this for boiling water to drink, for making tea, for cooking my food, everything. So it's better to not have your pine needle tea taste a three day old pike. I'm gonna make sure to do the lid too because I'm boiling and things are splashing up into there. All up in there. Then I will rinse it out, clear away my mess. Put more water in for the oil clean, because I will boil this down, then I'll dip it, my spoon in it and call it good. In the boiled water, I mean. And then it's ready to go for drinking or whatever. I will actually pour the boiled water on here so I don't contaminate the water with this. And then it's good for drinking. Brat. Tonight, tonight ended up being one of my favorite nights. Last night was like the least favorite, but they've all been really nice. and lights on day one, night one. Epic sunsets, especially after today, man. Today was like cold and gray and windy, as opposed to sunny and windy. <laughs> so, in my search for walleye, considering I can't get them at all on this lake, I'm jigging right now. I was jigging. Um, I found that creek into the next lake. Remember I went down to that other lake and it, I, I, didn't, I didn't like looks at it for fishing. And then getting the canoe down there might be a pain in the butt too. But I thought, what if that lake drained out into somewhere? What if that lake had a bigger, like a river coming out of it? You know what I mean? So that's always a good place to catch fish at the mouth of a river worth a shot and if tomorrow it's nice out I think I might do that and if not tomorrow maybe on one, the next nice day I will because I still have five days tonight today is the uh, halfway mark it's crazy it seems like I've been on here for a long time it seems like I've been on here for a really long time I haven't talked to anybody I know it's just five days but it's how it feels to me seems like this is my life. It's crazy. <laughs> That's where I live, right there. <laughs> now it's thundering and raining. I thought I heard thunder. Yeah, it's freaking... She's gonna come in here. I'll spare you the act, but I'll show you beforehand and after. That's the old blister there. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. So I'll have to pop that. Man, I don't know it's what's in the air, but like the weather completely changed. I, it feels like like that storm system passed completely and that like it's gonna get like it feels warmer already like I got a rager fire going and stuff but like it feels a lot warmer than it was I have a feeling and I 
I hate to say it even out loud, but I have a feeling the black flies are coming in. But that's okay. I've, I've gone this long without them. I, that's a that's already more money in the bank. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop this thing. All better. Flat at least. super cold my hands are numb I woke up to this wind and ice bitter ice cold wind all right I'm hunkering back down I'm laying back in bed for a bit oh my god oh he's a big boy <laughs> That's a big fish. That's a big old fish, guys. Look at that guy. Holy crap. <laughs> 